Chris? Chris? Uh-oh, Dr. Chris has collapsed and he's not responding. Injury alert! So what should you do if someone is unresponsive and not breathing? A. Take a selfie with them while they can't refuse. B. Lie down next to them and have a little nap. Or C. Call 999, find an adult and tell them how to do chest compressions and then get an AED or defibrillator. The correct answer is C. Call 999. Find an adult and tell them how to do chest compressions and then get an AED or defibrillator. But will this lot get it right with no training? Are you ready? Yeah! Off you go! go. AJ and Hanitha are both pretending that they've had an accident and are unresponsive and not breathing. Quick, guys, they need your help. Okay, you got a phone. No, no, no. We need you to come to this location straight away. Well, calling an ambulance is a great start. I can't feel it. Start the compressions. One. They've got two. into doing chest compressions, but actually they're just squishing his stomach. They're not doing them in the right place at all. Our teams didn't quite get this right. Some ideas were spot on, like Farouk's. I searched to see if she had a phone on her so we could call the ambulance. Others just missed the mark. Tell me about the chest impressions. I don't think I did it too next to his chest. I was doing it near his stomach. Let's show you how it should be done with the help of Jeff, our first aid dummy. Right, can you see if he's responsive? Jeff? Remember, we're Jeff. showing you what to do in an emergency, but it's always best to get an adult. I'm shaking him gently, but he's not saying anything. What should I do next? Can you check if he's breathing? Yep. Put your ear down next to his mouth, tilt his head back, can you feel any breaths at all on your ear? No, I can't feel any and I can't hear anything. We need to call 999. OK, I've got a phone here. So you call 999, give the patient's problem, give your location, and the ambulance service will tell you to start doing chest compressions. Put the heel of your hand in the middle of his chest and start pushing down at that speed twice every second. To do chest compressions, you need a grown-up because it's hard work and requires the stronger power of an adult for it to be effective. So Chris is now doing chest compressions. I need to go and find an AED or defibrillator. An AED or automated external defibrillator can be spotted in schools and public places like sports centers. Now all AEDs have instructions on them. It's a machine which delivers an electric shock to the heart. Pull green tab to remove pads. There are the pads. Peel pads from liner. Press pads firmly to patient's bare skin. OK, and now you need to move back because I'm going to give a shock. Can you stand back? Jeff isn't responding because he's a dummy. But at the touch of a button, the defibrillator tries to give the heart a kickstart. This machine will talk you through everything you need to do, so the most important thing is to stay calm and listen to the instructions. Do you want to have a go? Yeah! Brilliant. So, if you see someone who's unresponsive and not breathing, call 999, remember you'll need to know your location, then tell an adult how to do chest compressions, and finally, if available, find a defibrillator and follow its voice prompts. Good work, guys. Chris, are you breathing? Oh, yes, I am. I just winded myself. You winded yourself? Is that it? Well, yes, but it was quite a shock at the time. I thought it was some kind of emergency. Well, it's always better to check. I wonder if we should play something else. I've got this basketball with me. OK, all right, ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Winded again. Do, do, do.